What's up, YouTube? My name is Clickwood, and I am back again today bringing you guys a new video from my Madden 25 Ultimate Team Series where we're building the best budget team squad that we can in this game. And today what we're going to be doing is finding out how to build a studly safety duo for under 10,000 coins. Now, if you're interested in some of the other positions that we've done already, we did offensive line, defensive line, and cornerbacks. So if you take a look in the description of this video, you're going to be able to find links to those things. Please go check those out. Tell me what you think. But without further ado, let's take a look at the first set of cards that we're comparing today. And if you're new to the series, what we typically do is we compare a budget card to a card that we think is kind of overpriced. And usually these cards are, you know, 25,000 to 100,000 coins. Sometimes they get even higher than that. But starting off today, let's take a look at the Fantasy Will Hill card. It's 88 overall, and we're going to be comparing it to the 97 overall Playoff Edition Eric Weddle card. Now, the first thing that we have to take a look at here are the categories that we're going to be comparing. So what we have today is speed, awareness, man coverage, zone coverage, tackling, block shed, hit power, play recognition, and then the last thing that we compare is their height because that does actually play a little bit of a factor on how they play the ball, when it's in the air, if they can jump and make plays, that kind of thing. So let's take a look at these two directly compared to one another. Now, the first thing that you're gonna notice is that these two cards are kind of different. A lot of times I try to compare cards that are very similar to one another, but these two do have a lot of different skill sets. Uh, but the main thing that I like to compare when I'm looking at these cards is the speed. And these two are very similar to one another. The Will Hill is actually one faster. The awareness is seven different and the play recognition is 13 different in favor of Weddle. Now those are things that come into play when the computer is controlling that player on your defense. And for us though, a lot of times what we're going to look at is the man coverage and the zone coverage statistics. And as you can see here, the man coverage for Will Hill is eight better and the zone coverage is two better. Now that's pretty surprising because typically you're going to find that the more expensive safeties are better in coverage, but not in this case. The Eric Weddle card is a better tackler. It has 92 tackle, which is one of the best stats that you're going to find for a safety in the tackling department. However, its hit power is only 82 compared to 89 from Will Hill. So you could actually make the case that the Will Hill card is a better overall tackler. It's definitely going to cause more fumbles. So that's something to really think about. Now, the other thing that I think we need to take a look at here is the block shed. Because unlike cornerbacks, I have found that your safeties are an important portion of your run stopping on defense. And we need to make sure that they can get off blocks. So in this case, Will Hill does definitely lag behind Eric Weddle. He's only a 54 block shed, which is not very good. The Eric Weddle 67 is pretty good for a safety. It's not the best, but still pretty good. Oh, and before I go to the next slide here, what I wanted to say about the man coverage is that I understand that your safeties are not typically going to be in man coverage because a lot of times you're running a, you know, a simple zone, like a, a simple cover two, or if you're running two man under, they're, they're always going to be in a zone. But there are plays where you're blitzing a safety or you're blitzing a uh, linebacker and the other safety needs to cover a tight end or even pos possibly cover a receiver. And that's when we need to make sure that the man coverage statistic isn't terrible. And in this case, Eric Weddle being only a 68, that's pretty terrible. So definitely think about that. Eric Weddle is not somebody you want to be manned up with anybody. And he's 30,000 coins versus the Will Hill card being only about 4,200 coins. So in my opinion, the Will Hill card in this case is definitely better for the value. I mean, you could honestly make a case that it's a better overall safety than the Eric Weddle card as well. So with that said, let's take a look at the second pairing of safeties, and we're going to go over to the strong safety side now. And this is one of my absolute favorite cards in this entire game. Mike Mitchell might be the best budget card in Madden 25 Ultimate Team. Seriously, guys, this card is crazy overpowered. Look at these stats. He's got 92 speed. 80 awareness, which is, you know, it's not amazing, but if you compare it to the Eric Berry card, it only has three better awareness, but the man coverage and zone coverage are out of control. Look at this, 80 man coverage, 93 zone coverage. It is a total of 19 better in the two coverage statistics than this Eric Berry card that goes for 10 times the amount of coins. 
Now, it is a little bit worse in the tackling department. It's three worse, but his block shed is 74, which is nice. And then it has 90 hit power. It is just going to destroy receivers if they try to go deep over the middle. It is going to absolutely cause fumbles. It's going to cause incompletions. This is an awesome card, guys. Seriously, I cannot say this enough. In, in all honesty, this is a better safety card than the Eric Berry card. The only thing that Eric Berry is better at is it's three better in awareness, it's three better in tackling, and it's six better in play recognition. Other than that, the Mike Mitchell is at least as good with the same speed at 92 or better in every single statistic and significantly better in most of them. Again, one-tenth the price. This card is crazy underpriced. It is absolutely worth having on your team. You could have this on a team that is even not a budget squad and be happy with it. This is a really, really good card. And to show you that, I'm going to compare it to another safety card because I don't want you to think that it's just this Eric Berry card isn't good. There are other safeties in this game that are more expensive than the Eric Berry that are still not as good as this Mike Mitchell card. So let's take a look at another one. Here it is, 98 Ronnie Lott. Now, you'd think, being that this is a legend card, that this card is going to absolutely blow the Mike Mitchell card out of the water. Because it's got, you know, it's Ronnie Lott. He's going to just crush people. He's going to have 99 hit power, right? Well, not so much, actually. His, his hit power is actually only 91. His tackling is better than the Mike Mitchell's, but only 5 better. So, hit power 1 better, tackling 5 better. Play recognition, it is 8 better, and that, you know, that is significant. But in all these other statistics, the Mike Mitchell is better in zone coverage. It's the same in awareness. It has the same block shed. It's the same in man coverage. And it's five speed faster. So even though it might not be able to recognize plays quite as good as the Ronnie Lott, it's going to be able to recover better. So that is definitely something to keep in mind. I mean, again, you could you can have Ronnie Lott if you want, but you can definitely make the case that this Mike Mitchell card is every bit as good, if not better. And again... 46,000 coins cheaper. This card is unbelievably underpriced. Go get him immediately. I hope that I don't just skyrocket the market on this card, but I think other people have kind of figured this one out, so I'm not too worried about that. But anyways, guys, that's going to do it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed the strong safety and free safety comparisons that we made here. This Mike Mitchell card is just ridiculously out of control awesome and the will hill card is also really good so this would be a really good tandem if you need to get some cheap safeties you can get these two cards for under 10,000 coins save yourself tens of thousands if not hundreds of thousands of coins on more expensive cards and definitely these ones are going to be able to do a good enough job that you're not going to see it much of a difference thank you guys for watching i hope you enjoyed today's video if you did please leave a like Press the subscribe button if you can, and leave me a comment. Let me know what position you want to see next. If you have any questions on anything or any suggestions, I'd be glad to answer those things or uh, listen to your opinions on it. So thank you guys again for watching, and I will talk to you beautiful bitches again soon.